By this point in the year, we can honestly look back and assess how we've done. And no, we have enough time to overcome any procrastination in meeting our goals. Like the eighth step, we make a list. Pray for the willingness to make the appropriate action in order to live life to the fullest with others. Life apart from is no longer appealing. We are meant to be with others, to share in brotherly love. First, we'll start with a serenity prayer. Today's reading from the 24 Hours a Day book, a share. Then the reading again in case you got distracted. Carpe the diem. Enjoy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Consider, faith without works is dead. Doing the ninth step works when we have a higher power to rely on. August 27th, thought for the day. We must be willing to make amends to all the people we have harmed. We must do the best we can to repair the damage done in the past. When we make amends, when we say, I'm sorry, the person is sure at least to be impressed by our sincere desire to set right the wrong. Sometimes people we are making amends to admit their own faults, so feuds of long standing melt away. Our most ruthless creditors will sometimes surprise us. In general, we must be willing to do the right thing, no matter what the consequences may be for us. Have I made a sincere effort to make amends to the people I have harmed? Meditation for the day. The grace of God cures disharmony and disorder in human relationships. Directly you put your affairs, with their confusion and their difficulties, into God's hands. He begins to effect a cure of all the disharmony and disorder. You can believe that he will cause you no more pain in the doing of it than a physician who plans and knows that he can effect a cure would cause his patient. You can have faith that God will do all that is necessary as painlessly as possible. But you must be willing to submit to his treatment, even if you cannot now see the meaning or purpose of it. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may willingly submit to whatever spiritual discipline is necessary. I pray that I may accept whatever it takes to live a better life. May direct amends to such people wherever possible, except when to do so would injure them or others. Doing the ninth step without doing the prior steps will not yield the promises because we have not developed a relationship with our higher power in the first three steps. It is absolutely necessary to admit our powerlessness and to believe our higher power can and will do for us what we cannot do for ourselves. The steps are designed to be worked in order. We find God, we clean house, we help others. We cannot clean up our side of the street based on the way we were living our lives when we were drinking. Removing booze is not enough to stay sober and have a happy life. The joy of life comes to alcoholics when we turn it over and leave the stresses of the perception of control behind with the bottles. Faith heals. Willpower and self-discipline are good as far as they go, but the solution is in our higher power. That is where we find the willingness to make right what we did wrong. Courage comes from faith when we know in our heart we are doing His will in making amends. Saying to those we harmed, we are sorry, without a changed heart through faith is folly. Inevitably, we drink again and repeat our poor behavior. We have done it many times. Now it is different with our newfound spiritual principles guiding us. We face what we did and make right the harm, and we speak directly. We do not cower. The mystery of how our approach will be received does not dissuade us from this vital step. We are doing it so we can move forward in life, free from regret and free from drink. We found that God does not make too hard terms with those who seek Him. If we are painstaking about this phase of our development, we will be amazed before we are halfway through. 
we are going to know a new freedom and a new happiness. We will not regret the past, nor wish to shut the door on it. We will comprehend the word serenity, and we will know peace. No matter how far down the scale we have gone, we will see how our experience can benefit others. That feeling of uselessness and self-pity will disappear. We will lose interest in selfish things and gain interest in our fellows. Self-seeking will slip away. Our whole attitude and outlook upon life will change. Fear of people and of economic insecurity will leave us. We will intuitively know how to handle situations which used to baffle us. We will suddenly realize that God is doing for us what we could not do for ourselves. We learn early in the program to be in the footwork business, not in the results business. Consider, faith without works is dead. Doing the ninth step works when we have a higher power to rely on. August 27th, thought for the day. We must be willing to make amends to all the people we have harmed. We must do the best we can to repair the damage done in the past. When we make amends, when we say, I'm sorry, the person is sure at least to be impressed by our sincere desire to set right the wrong. Sometimes people we are making amends to admit their own faults, so feuds of long standing melt away. Our most ruthless creditors will sometimes surprise us. In general, we must be willing to do the right thing, no matter what the consequences may be for us. Have I made a sincere effort to make amends to the people I have harmed? Meditation for the day. The grace of God cures disharmony and disorder in human relationships. Directly you put your affairs, with their confusion and their difficulties, into God's hands. He begins to effect a cure of all the disharmony and disorder. You can believe that he will cause you no more pain in the doing of it than a physician who plans and knows that he can effect a cure would cause his patient. You can have faith that God will do all that is necessary as painlessly as possible. But you must be willing to submit to his treatment even if you cannot now see the meaning or purpose of it. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may willingly submit to whatever spiritual discipline is necessary. I pray that I may accept whatever it takes to live a better life. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.